All right, we can. Here was the the minus sign from the previous video that we plugged in to make sure we accounted for the fact that these are creating torques that are going in different directions. Um, then we can plug in some of the numbers here just so you can see how that works. It's 2.74 meters. Uh, the force of the backstay is 1,000 newtons times sine of the angle between them. Um, and theta one is going to be well, theta one is going to be equal to tangent of theta one is equal to opposite over the adjacent side and the opposite side here is 4.88 meters oh shoot I'm sorry about that sorry so tangent of theta one is equal to the opposite over adjacent side so that's 4.88 meters over 2.74 meters <coughs> uh, it turns out that's very close to 60 degrees um, I calculated that a little bit earlier. You can work that out in your calculator. And um, you just basically take the inverse tangent of 4.88 over 2.74. You should know how to do that in your calculator really well. Um, so that's about sine of 60 degrees plus uh, RB, which is 4.88 meters, times the force of the backstay, which we don't know, times sine of 45 degrees. And that's going to be equal to zero. So now we have all the numbers except one thing, right? So we can solve for that one thing. Um, we multiply these all through, and then we sub add those to the right side, and then divide by these two numbers. Um, and I believe we get some force that's equal to about 700 newtons, which um, should make sense from our drawing. Um, if you plug all those in, something about 700, it should make a little bit of sense, because if you think about well, what would we expect the force of these to be if their torques need to be equal and the lever arm here is much longer than this lever arm, then this force wouldn't need to be nearly as large to get the same amount of torque as this, even though it's at a, a shallower angle. So this one has a steep angle, so that's a, benefic a benefit to it. This one is at a shallower angle, but still, this is not quite, but um, you know, bordering on twice as far away from the axis of rotation as this one. And so it needs to account for that by having um, you know, a smaller force to create the same type of torque.